Hey, Ron. Hey, Bo. You're going to love this next topic. Okay. It has to do with us. Oh, this is this is a me and you topic. Me and you. Okay. Iconic duos. Describes you and me to a T. Oh, my goodness. Iconic duos. You're the iconic portion. I'm the duo <laughs> portion. I don't know. I don't, I don't think that's true, but I... That's a great question to to bat around. Who who were some of those iconic duos? I mean, for 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 us personally, or just in general, or both? Both. Okay. Okay. So if I say iconic duo, what's the first duo that comes to mind? Well, for, for me, that when you first said it, my my first iconic duo that that is this is a personal one for me uh, was. Ponch and John from Chips. Now you're just being silly. We have to turn the podcast off again. <laughs> why, why? Why am I wasting my time? This is Larry Wilcox and these? Eric Estrada. I even know <laughs> their names. Ponch and John were two of, of the most heroic people. I didn't like Ponch, but I did like John. As a kid and watching those guys race up and down, California Highway Patrolmen, on the TV show. Come on, Bo. That was... Next time we do a podcast, yeah. I'm coming with two topic ideas. <laughs> Punch and John. And you're, you're going to just pull the plug midstream, <laughs> scrap it, and here we go. Yeah, I mean... That was so, really, truly the first iconic duo that you thought of? I'm not making a joke. Really? Yeah. So for me, I mean, five, six years old and... Watching Chips on watching TV. Chips on TV, and they were heroic and the motorcycles and that epic theme song and it it, it was just fantastic and I, I loved the you know they're they got cool uniforms they might as well have been superheroes to me so but again I, and i think this is true with a lot of duos mm -hmm. that, that may come up again we'll have to see I, it's okay. a theory that's a work in progress one of them is better than the other one. Oh, and i think it i think it depends I think well, it depends on who. But I can think of some duos where that relates. Yeah. And I would also argue that they're both equally strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I know there were a lot of people, like with Ponch and John, there were a lot of uh, people that liked one or the other. More than the other. But the rumor behind the scenes was was Ponch in, in real life was a jerk. That Eric Estrada was arrogant, cocky, okay. annoying, and <laughs> and uh, I don't know if that played out on screen or not, but uh, Ponch and John. And, well, if and you John asked was me my favorite. to list iconic duos, yes. I don't think Ponch and John would be on my list. <laughs> just surprisingly, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just never went there. Yeah. Uh, Burns and Allen. Oh, yes. Fantastic. Uh, Laurel and Hardy. Yep. Batman and Robin. Batman and Robin is epic. Sonny and Cher. Ooh. Sonny and Cher. Bill and Hillary. I'm sorry. I just <laughs> had to throw no. that one in there. Um, yeah, th those are epic. Um, Who else? I'm trying to – I'm racking my brain. Yeah, when, when people think about duos, you, I think there are – I mean, Martin and Lewis, for the old school oh, wow. fans, Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis. Mm. And that's – I mean, that's way before our time, and yet R Two of the best. Effect. Yep. Rowan and Martin. Remember the Laugh-In show? Laugh-In. Yep, yep, and that is that's that's fetching back there. I I I have memories of it, but just barely. Um, Boy, there were a lot more that I remembered when I started uh, recording this, and I can't remember them now. Scooby Doo and Shaggy. Now you're there. You go again. Yeah, <laughs> we, we've got iconic duo. We've got plenty. We've got uh, Johnny Quest and Haji. <laughs> I I don't know. I don't Okay, so were were you impacted personally, you know, either musicians or comedians or whoever that were duos, even maybe of the ones that you listed. Stiller and Mera. Oh yeah. So and a lot of people wouldn't know Stiller and Mera, but they know but the actor today now Ben Stiller. Ben Stiller and, and it was their his, parents. His parents. I mean how cool would that Jer be? Uh, Jerry Stiller, and I don't know her name, but no. her last name, her maiden name was Mira. They were married, yep. but they were a comedic duo. Yep, yep. And they obviously did well yes. passing that on to their son, oh, Ben. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that, that is a, that's a good one. I, I, um, How about um, fictional, maybe, uh, duos? Uh, Butch Cassidy and ooh. the Sundance Kid? Yep, yep. Well, uh, were they fictitious? 
Well, maybe they weren't fictitious, but but yeah. the actors that played those characters, yeah, maybe they were real. Yeah, Paul Newman Paul and, Robert, Newman and Redford. Robert Redford. That was a good film duo. They were in The Sting together. Yes, yes, and a Butch lot of Cassidy movies and Sundance Kid. Yep, yep. I I uh, that that uh, Brad and Angelina. Yeah, Brangelina. Oh, yeah. That that's they're not even a duo anymore. But they were pretty iconic. Yep, yep. I think. Yeah, I I. There, there's oh, this. I found one. Yeah, Penn and Teller, Ooh. the magicians. Oh, that's good. I like them a Does lot. Does that guy ever speak? You think that guy speaks backstage? <laughs> He's got or, to, right? How, how can he do twenty years of this a magic the, career and not say a word? That's the longest lasting. I mean, somebody holding character that long mm. is is phenomenal. I just saw them on some interview show, uh, the Grand Tour on Amazon Prime, and. And he, he still, he was on an interview show, so he wasn't even doing their, their magic performing, and he was still silent. That hmm. was amazing. Yeah, I can't think of any more, can you? Gosh, and not, not until we go into, you know, peanut butter and jelly and all sorts of other <laughs> Are those odd iconic duos? So it's, uh, sorts of duos that we didn't say human beings. Milk we? and cookies? Milk and cookies. Tune into another cookie podcast uh, if you want Hand more in info. glove. Ooh, hand in glove. OJ's they go like hand, hand in, glove. in a glove. <laughs> what? OJ and the Ford Bronco. That's a duo that we associate. Are we are we getting wow. too far fetched <laughs> at this point? Uh, oh, the, I got one. Yeah. The Lone Ranger and Tonto. Oh, that's fantastic. That's good. That's good. Clayton Moore and Jay Silverheels. How did I know those names? Oh my gosh! You're welcome. That is fantastic. That's, You'll use that at your obscure, next cocktail. Uh, yeah, that's outing. obscure trivia right there. I like that. That's almost as out there as Larry Wilcox and Eric Estrada, that we know those names. Um, right now, movies are, are putting Batman and Superman together. What do you think about that duo? You know, you are a huge fan of those types of movies. Yeah, and I'm not. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I just don't it's, get into those movies. Yeah, well, it, it's fine. It seems it seems a little bit weird to me to pair Superman and Batman. Actually, and in the movie, they, they put them against each other for a while. So I, I don't know. That's, that's weird to that's me, tough. too. That's tough. Okay, so let's – oh, I got some. Music duos. Okay. Can you think of music duos? I have one that popped in my brain, but I'm going to oh, talk a little boy. bit and see if you can find why, one why while are I'm we, vamping. Why, why are we seem to be locked in the 70s right now? But the Captain and Tennille nice. is who popped into my, my now, head. Now, see, when you said Ponch and John, I yep. wanted to throw you out of the studio. Yeah. <laughs> you can say Captain and Tennille all you <laughs> oh, want. That's awesome. Come on over. Pull your chair closer. Awesome. Okay. Captain we'll and do. Tennille. Yeah, that's good. Love will that's keep good. us together. Isn't there's muskrat a, love. Oh, muskrat love. There, there's a there's do it a, to me one more time, man. See, you're you got this way better than I. Who do. wrote the song "Love Will Keep Us Together"? I have no idea. Of course you don't. No, I don't. Neil Sedaka. You're kidding me. Listen to the song at the end of the song. Yeah. As they're vamping out. Yeah. Sedaka is back. Oh man. Ooh, da, that's da, good. Da, da, da. Okay, everybody listening right now, you got to go look up that song. Love, Love will keep, keep us, us together. together and then a number one hit from 1975. Yes, and for those of you younger than 45, you need to go Google who, <laughs> who these Tenille. people are in general. Isn't there a rumor that one of them, the Captain or Tennille, live in Prescott, Arizona? They or both live to? in Prescott, Arizona. They, do. they retired to Reno, and wow. they lived in Reno for 10 or 15 years, and then they got tired of that area, and they moved to... Williamson Valley. Wow. Oh, that's awesome. I and you love... know, she uh, donates her time at Yavapai Hospital. You're kidding. No. And she's also a wonderful, what is it, jazz? I mean, she's changed her format. Wow. She's now a wonderful singer, and she does occasional fundraisers in the Quad Cities area of See, northern Arizona. this is bringing it home right here. Yeah. An iconic duo besides... Me and you. Wait a minute. I just That's thought right of here. I thought of the one that I thought of. I'm going to mention now, and that led me to another one. Okay. Okay. The Everly Brothers. Ooh. Wake up, a little Susie. Wake up. That's good. That's pretty epic. They were the number one selling duo team 
in music history until which duo knocked them out in the 80s? Uh, wow, that's a good Hollow Notes. You got it. You, you're kidding me. No, that's oh, true. Oh, man. I had Hollow Notes tucked away for another duo that I enjoy. Yeah. I just came up with Hollow Notes after wow. I remembered uh, the Everly Brothers. Oh, man. Everly I, Brothers were the biggest selling duo in music history. You're kidding. Until uh, Hall of Notes. Does it seem like there's less of the duo thing going on uh, today? I mean, in music than than. Well, there, there was used a period when it was uh, boy groups and girl groups. There's lots of groups. More groups. Yeah, we've, as opposed to duos. Right. Right. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Um, okay, let's think of another genre. Okay. And I don't have anything yeah. prepared in my mind All right. uh, to, to, to spark some duos. Yeah. How about movies, vaudeville? Yeah. Any duos come up in, in that genre? Uh, art. I don't know if there yeah. are art I mean, duos. You, you had, you had uh, oh. Bob Hope and Bing Crosby movies, all the Road 2 yeah, movies. Yeah, those were great. Those were fantastic. Um, and I'm going to put this here next to Bob Hope and Bing Crosby. Yes. Millie Vanilli, your favorite group. Oh, yes. That, that was amazing. Did one of those guys commit suicide? I I think he did. I think he, I was just about to say something inappropriate, but I, I yeah, I think but he did. But remember when they got caught with that lip syncing? Yeah, exactly. That was a big fiasco. That was a big fiasco. You know, that was horrible. What? And just, I mean, could you imagine the shame and the oh, nerves man. and how you would feel if you got caught like that? Uh. And then you, th- but it was hilarious. It was. So they were running a, they were in concert and they were running a track. They were lip syncing. Yep. Right. In a concert right. with 25,000 people in the right. audience. And then it skipped or it something. Skipped. And then it was obvious they were lip syncing and what a nightmare. Blame yeah. it on the rain. Yeah. Did rain, we ever find out who rain, sang it? Rain. Because how no, sad. No, that's right. Because Somebody, the, yeah, the, no, some, the, no, some studio session yeah. people sang wow, it. Wow, man. That's so crazy. I, really vanilla. Mo- and the movie pressure wise, I, I know, and, and this maybe fits me and you as a movie duo, but Dumb and Dumber. Nice. Uh, you've got <laughs> yeah, that's Jeff us. Daniels and Jim Carrey. Yes. And uh, we'll have to dress up in those Characters. hideous tuxedos at some point. Nice. And, uh, and, and, and maybe live out that. that was a, that's an iconic duo. So Ashford and Simpson, solid. Solid uh, as, as a, a rock, rock. Yep. right? Yeah. Now I don't know exactly. Yeah. But they wrote a ton of Motown songs, and oh. you didn't know they were the writers. Wow. Um, Marvin Gaye and Tammy Terrell. Oh wow. Okay. They wrote a bunch of them. Yeah. You're all I need to get by. Yeah. And um, nobody knew them because they were behind the scenes songwriters, and then they became popular in the mid '80s with mm. "Solid, Solid as a Rock," oh, Ashford and Simpson. I like that. That's cool. Well, that's cool. Um, I guess I'm stuck with you as a duo, and I like that. I'm okay with that. I yeah? think that sounds good. So, I think that sounds so good. another iconic duo, Ronnie and Bo. Yes, that's fantastic. We have to work on our iconicness. I know, I know. Well, that'll that comes with time. Say goodbye, Ron. Goodbye, Ron. What? <laughs>